good afternoon all it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all with the chairman of the session uh, dr sanjay choudhury who is a founder and director of the i7 group of hospitals in new delhi india he is a leading cataract and refractive surgeon in northern part of india and has over 30 years of experience in the field of ophthalmology he has been in the forefront of surgical and technological innovations in the eye care domain and uh, i would like to request dr sanjay choudhury to take over the session hi welcome everybody so uh, without much delay let's move on to the agenda for the day and it's my pleasure to invite the first speaker uh i would like to invite dr javier mora di onate sir <laughs> thank you very much he is an ophthalmologist at the ever ophthalmological center since 2008 and a member of the college of physicians of madrid and he has a lot of uh, presentations to his credit so over to you sir okay thank you very much first of all want to say thank you to biotech for the invitation we are going to talk about the acrylic facic lens is now trendy and it's because it has become real competitions with other facic lens in market because it has some advantages we want to comment As, Ar as Carlos Alcaraz says, he's in love with grass, we are in love with this lens. And it's because, as we know, with several publications have shown, this lens offers very good results, fully comparable with other facic lens in terms of uh, design, refractive fit, and stability of the toric lenses. Its material, its bent material, recognized for its purity and biocompatibility, without ethical conflicts because it doesn't carry any porcine material and with anti-tas manufacturing protocol of the FDA and the American Academy of Ophthalmology. So it offers many, many warranties. The entrance you can use is 2.8 instead of, of, of 3.2, and the folding in you for easy loading allows also a, safe, a very safe implant, because when the lens unfolds, it looks to its anatomical position, so it reduces the risk of flipping, okay? The, it also provides large optical zone with a spherical profile for large size and all this thing together with the fact biotech offers the size of 13 millimeters that they ha that is something the, the users have been asking for it for many years encourage us to try it so after our first implantation the first thing we realized was the very good homogeneity of the lens and the stability during the follow up so we wanted to measure all that things so we have done this study we present today and we have used two 121 eyes and we divided into group 68 eyes with the acryl facil lens and 53 eyes with the competitor lens all of them with myopia higher than 6 diopters with and without astigmatins a follow up at least of 3 months at, and look that we always compare eyes with very similar anatomical characteristics as we can see in this table in terms of axial length sphere cylinder acd and endothelial cone We have used two different diagnostic equipment. One is the OCT MS39, and the other one is the OCT from Thyrus from Thais. And we have analyzed and compared the bolt in terms of homogeneity, comparing the peripheral bolt uh, respect to central bolt, both in nasal and temporal area, the stability of the central bolt up to three months, and, the, and how the lens behaves according to the pupil size, which is called the dynamic bolt. Okay. We have to say the central bolt measurement is done in photopic conditions, the peripheral bolt uh, measurement is done in mesopic conditions, and the dynamic bolt is done automatically with the uh, MS39 equipment. Okay. In general, when we analyze both lenses, the first thing we realize is the nasal bolt is significantly lower than the temporal bolt. Although initially we thought it was an artifact of the equipment, later we realized that it was real because it happens with both eyes with both lenses and with both equipments in the group of eyes with myopias between 6 to 10 diopters this decrease between nasal bolt respect to temporal bolt is confirmed but here another interesting find is that the temporal bolt of the competitor group is higher than the central bolt this could be something already described previously by other authors and is that the haptics of the of the Competitor lenses are often implanted 
on the ciliary, ciliary body rather than a sulcus. So it can produce this asymmetry. In the group of ice between, with my peers, between 10 to 15 diopters, we can see again this decrease between a nasal bolt respect to temporal bolt, and the same happens with the group of ice with myopias higher than 15 diopters. But here, another interesting find. It's a drastic drop from peripheral bolt to central bolt. Look at this 40% decrease in the competitor group that compared to 16% decrease in the eye implant. We can see it better in this picture when we analyze lenses with myopias higher than 15 diopters. And this could be explained by two reasons. One is the more slightly rigid material of the, of the eye implant that perhaps allows to fit better on the sulcus. And the other is the biconcave design in high refraction that perhaps allows better distribution of high refraction in the optical area. So uh, it maintains very good homogeneous pattern. When we analyze uh, eyes with toric lenses, we can see again this decrease between nasal bolt respect to temporal bolt, regardless, we correct low astigmatins or high astigmatins. And the same happens uh, with high astigmatism. Okay, what happens if we analyze the bolt, uh, both lenses separately, okay? In the competitors' groups, we, ca we can see the bolt of the competitors' groups change a lot depending on the corrected dioptric power, while the eye implant maintain very good homogeneity, very reproducible, and almost independent of the corrected dioptric power. In the second part of the study, we analyzed the stability of the bolt, and we can see it's better in the uh, acryl biotech implant than the competitor group. And in the third part of the study, uh, we analyze how the lens behave according to the pupil size, which is called the dynamic bolt. In our study, we obtained a mean range bolt of 55 microns, very similar to published by Dr. Sriganes in other study carried out with the same MS39, and very different from published from the competitor lens it, in our study was 121. In other study by Dr. Felix Gonzalez with Cassia equipment was 167. So here we can see a video where we compare both lenses when the pupil is changing and we can see the competitor lens moves much more than the acryl implant. So we can conclude that there is a reproducible difference between nasal bolt and temporal bolt in both fucking lenses probably explained by anatomical causes not yet studied. And we must monitor the peripheral bolt, especially in the nasal area, and especially when we have low bolt situations. And we must continue to study this finding to understand its etiology and solve the unknowns that have arisen when analyzing our data. <clears throat> to finish, we can say the eye lens seems to maintain very homogeneous and reproducible bolt throughout the diadoptric range while with a lower dynamic range than the competitor lens. And at last, the homogeneity of the peripheral bolt in combination with its dynamic findings, such as the acryl fucking lens, uh, could offer more security and stability of the bolt, especially in low bolt situation. Thank you very much for your attention.